are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, today was the bit day for Brittany Griner and her appeal on her nine year prison sentence in Russia. The WNBA star, her appeal, as expected, has been rejected. And guys, this is not a surprise uh, whatsoever. Uh, reports were actually coming out uh, yesterday that uh, Brittany Griner really didn't have any faith that um, she would actually be released. And uh, her lawyers actually were trying to push for an acquittal. We knew that was not going to happen. One thing, Brittany Griner committed the crime. She actually admitted that she actually brought in the uh, vape cartridges into Russia. And in Russia, they treat that stuff much more harshly than we do over here in the United States of America. This was pretty much her last hope. Now, her only hope now is that um, a new administration actually comes in in 2025 because Joe Biden is not going to get her out. And things pretty much just got even worse for Brittany Griner after her appeal was rejected. Check this out. A Russian court, I think that's what they meant to say, has denied WNBA star Brittany Griner's appeal and upheld her nine year prison sentence on drug charges. The athlete is now expected to be moved to a penal colony. So my goodness, guys, she is about to go to a labor camp. This is really, really bad for Brittany Griner. It's going to be a long nine years for her. Boy, she better pray that, um, a Ron DeSantis or Donald Trump, especially Donald Trump, actually gets in office in um, 2025 because there's nothing, absolutely nothing that uh, Joe Biden um, can do for her. Over here on NBC News, Russian court denies Brittany Griner's appeal of nine year prison sentence. The WNBA star was sentenced after Russian authorities said she had vape canisters with cannabis oil in her luggage. The U.S. Uh, says she is wrongfully detained. And that's pretty much what um, the Biden administration is running off of. They have declared her wrongfully detained, but that means nothing. That means absolutely nothing, especially, you know, since she actually admitted to the crime. Brittany Griner is the one that put herself in this situation. You people out here in the United States of America, you got to take responsibility for your actions. You can't be going on around there in other countries and breaking the law. Depending on which country you're actually in, you can be in huge, huge trouble. And I'm willing to bet, folks, that um, if she actually did this in the great United States of America, she would not be in jail. Actually, folks, she would have probably got um, a misdemeanor or something like that, depending on um, which state she was actually in. And that would be that. She would actually be right here in the United States. She would actually be with the uh, Phoenix Mercury right now in the WNBA. But no, Brittany Griner decided to break the law. She did it. But these uh, left wing Democrat politicians are not holding her accountable for her actions. Your actions can have consequences. And unfortunately, Brittany Griner is learning that the hard way now. It says here. A Russian court on Tuesday denied WNBA star Brittany Griner's appeal and upheld her nine year prison sentence on drug charges. Griner, 32, looked despondent as she appeared at the hearing in the uh, Moscow Regional Court via video conference. Yeah, she wasn't even there. Uh, she was like in this uh, little small uh, prison cell. Um, but anyway, uh, she appeared uh, via video conference from the detention center where she was. Um, she has been held since her arrest in February. The athlete is now expected to be moved to a penal colony. Uh, Grinder's conviction in August was uh, decreed by the United States, which has said the athlete is being wrongfully detained. That's a lie. The denial of her appeal will see hopes for Grinder's release shift to the potential for a high profile prisoner swamp. That is our only hope. But um, there there is there's no indication that Russia really has any interest whatsoever in doing the prisoner swap. I mean, Beijing Biden and his administ his administration actually made an offer. And guess what? 
Russia has not replied. Russia's actually come out and said, you know, this is not a priority for us. We really, really don't care. There's, there's nothing that Joe Biden can do because Russia has no respect for Joe Biden. Vladimir Putin. I'm, want, I'm wondering, folks, if um, Vladimir Putin even knows who Bernie Griner is, you know, to to him. She just may be, you know, just another prisoner. Nothing more. But man, guys. I got to tell you, man, teach your kids how to respect the law, no matter where you at. You may not agree with the law because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, laws in this country that um that I probably don't agree with. But guess what? I actually do have to follow the law. And when it comes to illegal drugs, some countries, man, will just lay the hammer down. And Brittany Griner. She didn't follow the law. She did not do it. She brought drugs from this country all the way over to Russia. That is a long flight. And you know what her excuse was? Well, I was in a rush. That's a terrible, terrible excuse. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Brittany Griner going to a penal colony. That is really, really bad, folks. A labor camp. Wow. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.